Our special assignment unit is looking at whether the food your kids are eating at school is safe. Our investigation found that over 95% of school cafeterias in Prince George's County and in Washington, D.C. were cited for some type of health code violation just this past school year. Hillary Lane has been digging into this for the past few months and has more in a report you'll see only on WUSA 9. Does your daughter eat the school cafeteria food? Last year she did. She loved it. So a school inspection report found that there were mouse droppings and bugs. Wow, I didn't know that. There was some dirt and some mice droppings and some bugs. Wow, really? I'm not sure. I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. When you give your kids money to buy food in the school cafeteria, you expect that that food is safe for them, right? Well, it turns out that may not be the case. I analyzed over 2,000 school cafeteria inspection reports, and the results are pretty gross. In Prince George's County, one in four schools were cited last year for rodents, insects, and foods kept at improper temperatures. That's according to online inspection reports. In D.C., it's one in 10 schools. Here's a little taste of what our investigation uncovered. Health inspectors were right here at McKinley Technology High School in October of 2016. They found mold in the ice maker and they found the cheese was being kept at an improper temperature. They came back a week later for a reinspection and the problems were all still there. Nothing was fixed and health inspectors haven't been back to this school since, and kids are continuing to eat in the cafeteria here. And back in 2016, health inspectors came here to Capitol Heights Elementary in Capitol Heights, Maryland. When they were here, they found rodents. They came back five months later and found rodents again, and since then, they have not been back to the school to recheck it. According to national guidelines, each school is required to be checked twice a school year, but reinspections are not required. With rodents, oftentimes we think about uh, the possibility of getting salmonella if there's any kind of mixture of their urine or feces that gets into the food, and that's just scratching the, uh, the surface. If food isn't cooked at the right temperature, if it's sitting out for too long, what could happen to kids if they then eat that food? Most people who get uh, food poisoning, you know, you get some vomiting, diarrhea, cramps, etc., but you get past it in a few days. One thing that we always worry about in, in kids, it can happen in adults also, but you can get a bloody type of diarrhea, but in some kids, you can also get what's called hemolytic uremic syndrome, in which you have kidney liver failure, and oftentimes it can lead to severe morbidity, even mortality. Wow, that's scary stuff. It is. The health departments we spoke to say there have been no cases of local kids getting sick from cafeteria food over the past few years. But food policy experts say that can be misleading. Parents don't always report the problems, and it's sometimes difficult to trace illnesses back to school cafeterias. Experts point to staffing as another one of their concerns. Our report found that there is just one inspector for every 235 school cafeterias, restaurants, and bakeries that need to be inspected in D.C. and Prince George's County. That's 40% less staff compared to other areas in our region where school cafeterias are in much better shape. I just started letting him eat the school lunch. <laughs> wow. And you might not after that. Yeah, I definitely won't. So who's in charge? That would be the departments of health in each jurisdiction. There was an increased activity last year with uh, rodent and um, and vermin in, in particular. Is the food safe? The kids should be safe. But if you see droppings, that means mice were there. So isn't that a concern and a reason enough to follow up? Yes. But it doesn't happen all the time. No, it doesn't. So tomorrow night, we'll continue the conversation and focus on how to make cafeterias safer for all kids. Join us tomorrow night at 11. We also analyze hundreds of health inspection reports in Fairfax County and Montgomery County. The schools there, in better shape. And on our website, you can check local schools health reports. First thing, find that digital edition of Hillary's report. At the bottom, you'll see a pair of drop down menus. Let me show you how this works. So first, we'll pick a school system. And for the demonstration, we'll say DC. 
Then the second drop down menu gives a full list of schools within that system and we're going to pick Beers Elementary School. Then the results come back and for Beers, there was just a minor violation. Some carrots that were washed near a garbage disposal and the carrots were thrown out. It's easy. You're just a couple of clicks away from the results and that tool is available right now on WUSA9.com. Just look for Hillary Lane's report on school cafeterias.